Hey guys, what is going on? So today we're talking about this guy, the Polar Pro Katana for the DJI Mavic Pro. So I've been playing with this guy all day. It's a cool little device that's, you know, it's super cheap and it basically latches on to your Mavic and allows you to use your Mavic as a stabilizer versus just using it as a drone. So now you can take the Mavic and go use this as a gimbal, as a handheld gimbal with two hands and go take it through anywhere that you probably can't fly a drone and just anywhere where you're gonna want a handheld steady shot. So let's start off by first seeing how long it takes to set up. So on top of that, you also have to keep in mind that when you turn the Mavic on, it's gonna take a little while to boot up and connect to your phone because it's through the Wi-Fi. So you're looking at another 20, 30 seconds. So if it's your first time putting the Mavic in the device and then getting it up and going, expect that it's gonna take some time to set up, but any gimbal is gonna take some time to set up. So I'm not too worried about that. It's really straightforward. You just attach it on and ready to go. But guys, this video is about if this is a product that I would use or if it's something that I would recommend. I think there's two sides to this. So one is that yes, this is a cool product because A, the Mavic has a very good camera and the Mavic has the ability to shoot some really cool stuff. We get some awesome drone shots with the Mavic. So why can't you just take that, put it on a handheld gimbal and go run with it? You definitely can and you get some awesome stuff. So there's definitely some downsides to it though because it's a drone that you're now using as a handheld gimbal. In the past, like with the Phantom, I know people would just hang on to the Phantom and use it as a gimbal as well. Using a drone as a gimbal does does work. However, I found some issues when I was playing around with it today. And for me, it's probably not something I would use over a handheld gimbal. So let me go over some reasons why I think you might want to get the Katana. So for one, it's cheap. That's a no brainer. It's a very cheap product. It's just a piece of plastic that's shaped in a way to hold it and to hold the phone. Number two is that it's designed well. It has an awesome design. It's got the two handles. The phone sits right on top. There are some little flaws here and there, but who cares? It's, it, it is what it is. It works and it does exactly what it says it's going to do. Number three, is that you can bring it with you, put it in with your drone in your backpack, and it doesn't take up a lot of extra space. So for those of you who are just taking the Mavic out and you want a gimbal to get some shots in the ground as well, this is perfect. This is exactly what you need. It's awesome, it works well, it does exactly what you need it to do without a lot of extra gear. Me personally, I would rather have a bigger camera and I would rather put it on a handheld gimbal so that I can get better looking footage. Because there are some things about this that I don't necessarily like. One of the biggest things is the controlling the camera from the Katana. So you're using your phone and to tilt your camera up and down using the Wi-Fi on the phone with the Mavic, you basically have a little slider and you have to tilt it up and down that way. A lot of times you're hitting the screen, you're hitting other buttons on the screen. Like it just, it's not, it doesn't work as I would want it to work. With all the handheld gimbals I have, you have different modes where it follows you. So if you tilt down with the gimbal, the camera will follow versus a locked off mode where it stays steady as you move the gimbal up and down. So you don't have that option. You basically have one option, which is stationary and you, you, know, you move the gimbal around and it keeps a perfect shot. So if you wanna tilt down as you're doing it, you'd have to put your finger on the screen and slide it down and it's a jerky motion and it just, it doesn't work. So you're not gonna be tilting and panning and moving with this all at the same time. It's just, it's not effective. That's one major reason why I wouldn't use this over a different type of gimbal. Another reason is that you only can tilt so far up. So with a drone, obviously because the propellers are on top, the drone looks straight out and down versus a handheld gimbal where you can look up, down, all around. Basically, you know, it has limits, but you can get up. So there's plenty of times where I'm shooting and I'd like to have my gimbal on follow me mode. And then as I'm following, I'd like to tilt up or I'd like to go and tilt down. When I'm using a gimbal, I wanna be more aggressive with the way I'm shooting. I wanna get more creative with the styles of the shots. I don't just wanna go forward, back, left, right, smooth shots. You know, there are time and place for that. But usually when I'm using a gimbal, it's so I can get cooler, more dynamic shots. And with this, you can't get as dynamic shots as I'd like to. With the Katana, you're kind of stuck in this position. Whereas other handheld gimbals, you know, you can adjust the, the handle to wherever you're at. So if it's two hands, you sometimes could suitcase it. With other gimbals where it's one hand, you basically can tilt it up 
and the camera will still be pointed out. So you can get down and get those low angle shots. It was very tough to use this and try to get low to the ground shots and keep it steady without bending over weird and like scrunching and it just didn't work out as well and it wasn't as smooth as I hoped. You know, another thing with the Katana that I'm not a big fan of is the way that it handles fast motion on the ground. So when I'm using a gimbal, again, I like those dynamic shots. I like to run with it. I like to move quickly and the side to side motion on a drone isn't built for quick whip pans. I mean, as you know, as if you're trying to get creative cinematic shots with a drone, it's all about doing it slow, gradual, making these big sweeps. Basically, like when I fly the drone, I'm using different directions of motion to create these different dynamic shots and showing off a vista or a landscape or revealing something and just moving out and around it. So now when you have a handheld gimbal, you're trying to get in, you're supposed to dial it in and go fast, move quick, go around that subject. It doesn't work as well as a traditional handheld gimbal with a camera, like it gets kind of hung up and it kind of has a little bit of jerk to it. You can avoid it by moving slower, but that's something me personally, I like to move quick, be dynamic with it. So that's another reason why this isn't the tool for me. Overall, you can get some amazing shots with this. And for the price, you can't beat it. So if you're looking for a handheld gimbal to go along with your Mavic and you don't wanna go spend 500 bucks, you don't wanna go spend $2,000, this is perfect. This is great, I would say go out and get it. Now if you want a gimbal that has more control, you can do more options, I'm gonna say don't buy this, go get a better handheld gimbal for your mirrorless, for your DSLR, for any other camera, maybe not the GoPro, but all in all, I think it's an awesome tool. I think it's something that a lot of you will love and I think a lot of you will, will work great for your productions. You can get some awesome footage with a tool you already have and a cheap piece of plastic that goes around it. It's pretty amazing how well this works for what it is, but it shows you that the Mavic is an awesome tool. I love the DJI Mavic Pro. It's awesome, it's small. The ability that you're able to put it in a device like this and use it as a gimbal is awesome. So guys, that's my thoughts on the Polar Pro Katana. It's not a device I would use. I would much rather bring along extra gear, but I always have extra cameras with me, whether it's a mirrorless or whether it's a point and shoot, I always have something else, so I'd rather just bring a small handheld gimbal. If you're just bringing the Mavic out, I think this is the perfect tool for you to get those extra dynamic shots, take it out of the air, bring it on the ground. If you're in a national park, guess what? Now you can now use your Mavic Pro, run around the national park because you can't fly in national parks and a lot of other places actually. More and more places nowadays that you cannot fly. So this is a good alternative and I also think drones are starting to be overused in everything, I think they're a very good tool, but I also think we need to focus on other methods of filmmaking and not just focus so much on drones and everything drones because drones are awesome. Don't get me wrong, I love drones, but there's some very cool things you can do with other types of cameras and other types of ways to move the camera around. Guys, that's it, it's the end, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you used this product yourself? Let me know what you think about it and if you've used other gimbals, how it works in comparison to those. Guys, We'll see you on the next one.